Whiskey Butler, take, oh, I don't know, 35. Howdy! Welcome to the Whiskey Butler. I'm your host, Wesley Butler, here to serve you a little whiskey wisdom. But today, I'm very excited today, you know why? It is the first Whiskey Butler taste battle, yeah! Woo! A little Ric Flair there. Woo! Okay, so we're gonna do a Whiskey Butler taste battle, and it's gonna be a taste battle of cash strength slash barrel proof whiskeys, okay? I got a few people in the studio audience today who are gonna help me participate, but first, before we get to the taste battle, let's learn a little bit about our, our contestants today. We have two contestants. We have the Red Breast 12 Cash Strength Edition, and we have the Catoctin Creek Roundstone Rye Whiskey Cast Proof. We will start with the Foreigner, and we'll talk about the Red Breast 12, okay? This is an Irish whiskey. We'll call it, well, it's very close to a traditional Irish, Irish whiskey, right? It, it, is, uh, it is pot distilled, it is triple distilled, it's got a mash bill of somewhere of a malted and, and unmalted barley. It, uh, it rings in at a 58.2, 58.2 alcohol by volume. So we're gonna call both of these today, we're gonna call them lightweights, okay? Because neither of them, we, we haven't crossed that 120 proof threshold. Uh, so we're gonna call them lightweights. This is a 58.2, it is finished in uh, American Season Oak Bourbon Barrels and Sherry Cast, Oloroso Sherry Cast, okay? The normal Red Breast 12 is a 40% ABV. This is a 58.2, so clearly, clearly we're getting something much, much different than the normal. So, let's go ahead and give this a taste, shall we? I'm not taste battling. I got, I got other people that are taste battling. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you what it sounds, I'm gonna tell you what, it, what I taste, and then we're gonna let our contestants taste it and see if they can come up with the same thing. So we're gonna pour a little red breast here. Triple distilled, pot still, sherry bourbon, sherry and bourbon cast, and age 12 years, right? Woo, this might go down real smooth, might go down real smooth. It actually does go down very smooth. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very smooth. I mean, so the sherry cask give you that hint of fruitiness, but it's 12 years, right? It's 12 years, so even with that hint, it's still, still very subtle, very smooth. Yeah, totally. Okay, okay, red breast. And at, at, uh, at the 50, 58.2, you're still tasting a lot of those true flavors. I mean, look, I've done other episodes where I've tasted 135 proof and it just grabs you, right? This doesn't grab you. I mean, it tells you that it's there because it's it's 100, well, what is that? 118 proof, something like that. It tells you it's there, but it, it doesn't it, it, it doesn't scream at you, right? So, so that's good. All right. Well, I'll taste a little bit later. Okay. All right, so that's our first contestant. Our next contestant is the Catoctin Creek Roundstone Rye, Roundstone Rye Cast Strength, okay? This is Virginia's own Catoctin Creek, okay? This is out in Percival, Virginia. I had the privilege of actually going on a distillery tour. Shout out to Steve who gave the tour. Good job on the tour, Steve. Um, they only make rye whiskey. I mean, they make several other spirits there, but the whiskey, they only make rye whiskey there. They have several different variants, different proofs, whatever. But I got the cast proof today, and it is a 58%, right? So that's why I chose these two today, 58.2, 58. Now, a little bit about the uh, Catoctin Creek. It is, it's 100% rye mash bill, but they use three different kinds of rye. And we know one of the characteristics of a good cast strength is that you're going to get more of the real flavors that are coming out of the barrel, right? And one of the flavors that uh, you, in this Catoctin Creek, right, is a, is a hint of tobacco. Hint of tobacco, and you're like, what? Who put the wacky tobacco in the, in the round stone rye here? Okay, okay. Well, what happens is, 
uh, one of the rods that they use to make that they use in the mash bill is actually grown in a field next to tobacco fields, right? So that rye probably picks up some of that tobacco flavor in it. And since this is cast strength and it's not as watered down as the other, you probably get more of those hints. But let's just see. I mean, I've tasted this before because I was at the distillery. And actually both of my contestants have tasted, ooh, have tasted this before because they were both at the distillery with me. So we're gonna, we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're challenging their wits today. Ooh, now the, the nose on this is completely, completely different than the nose on the Irish, right? The nose on this, you're gonna get butterscotch, you, a little bit of that tobacco in the nose here. Oh yeah, 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 that's a completely different taste. I mean, not not in a bad way, but it's a completely different taste. You, you see, I'm setting the people up, right? I'm setting them up. I'm like, oh, these are two completely different tastes. You should know which is which, right? Okay, but yeah, you're totally getting butterscotch on this. You're getting toffee, and the and the, uh, the I, I would say the flavors are jumping out at you. And it's weird, right? Because I don't like butterscotch candy, right? I'm not a butterscotch candy fan. But I can taste it in my whiskey. It tastes better in my whiskey than it does just in a piece of candy, okay? Yeah, 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 that's good. Okay, so we got 58% alcohol by volume here. We got 58.2. Let's get to the taste battle. I'm going to introduce one of my participants here who has chosen to be on camera. Go ahead, come on out here, come on out here. This is Corey, known Corey a long time, fellow Texas A&M alumni, roommates for a while. Corey's gonna participate in the taste battle. We have some other taste battle participants who have chosen to be off camera. I don't know if they wanna remain anonymous or not. Okay, so Nikki has chosen to remain off camera, but she's also doing the taste battle. So. How are we gonna make sure that they don't know what it is that they're getting? Well, before I started filming this episode, I filled up <laughs> these, uh, these little bottles right here. We have a blue bottle. I feel like I'm in the matrix. We have a blue bottle and we have a white bottle, okay? Each of them contains, now Corey and Nikki both, they both have, their, both of their blue bottles have the same thing, both of their clear bottles have the same thing. So we're gonna see if they can tell the difference in the red breast versus the Catoctin Creek. Here we go. All right, there you go. Now, contestants, let's have you first pour. Well, which one do you want to pour first, the blue or the clear? Uh, let's go with blue. You're gonna go with the blue? We're going with the blue first. Let's pour our blue bottles first. Blue bottles, blue bottles, yeah, the blue bottles. I'm excited, it's our first taste battle. This is awesome. I feel like there should be theme music that goes along with this, but I couldn't find any that wasn't copyrighted. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you smell? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not getting the tobacco or the toffee or the butterscotch from that one. Okay. Okay. I don't think. <laughs> you don't think? What about what are you smelling? What do you I smell? Butterscotch. You I don't smell, smell tobacco. Though. You don't smell tobacco, but you smell butterscotch. Okay. Okay. Go ahead, taste it. Might See how you. Some, might be some trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and drink this one, which is which is neither of these, right? This is uh, some Elijah Craig barrel proof that left over from another filming. I'm just gonna go ahead and drink this while they're while they're tasting. Mm. I don't want to throw them off. Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you think? What do you think? What you got? Now you know you've you've had both of them. I know. You own one and you tasted the other one at the distillery. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, all right. Like it's been a while. They're both cast strings. They're both cast strings. Really what different. do you think? What do you think? I'm gonna taste the other one before I make my final. Yeah. <laughs> but did you like that one at least? Yes. Yes. Okay, you like that one at least. Yeah. yeah. You like it? Okay. I, like, I did like it. All right. All right. I feel like I'm getting the tobacco in this one a little bit though. So you feel like you're getting the tobacco? I hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> Do we need to get you another glass? I need another, yeah, of course. I don't think that's been used. There you go. There you go. All right. Bottle of number one. Right. Pour your clear. Pour your clear. Pour your clear. Yeah. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. What are you smelling? What are you smelling? I'm getting some barley on this one. Some barley on this one? What do you smell? I didn't know it was barley, but I could smell some sort of grainy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all whiskey. It's all grainy. So, I know, but, yeah, like, saying. but some of the other ones don't, like, lead with the grain. Lead with the grain? Okay. Okay. This one smells sweeter. It smells sweeter? We we strive for authenticity here. I promise you that neither of them know what's in either. Well, I mean, they know which whiskeys went into went into was, these uh, things, but it was it was kept a secret. We will reveal here very shortly after this commercial break. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get to commercial breaks in these episodes. Mm. Yeah. Well, like you said before, very different flavors. Very different Pumbo, flavors. You think sure. very different flavors? Very different flavors. Yeah. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's my first question to either, to both of you. Which one did you actually like better? The first one. You like the first one better. Okay. The blue so you like the blue. I, uh, I don't know. This is really, it's a really tough call, actually. <laughs> Like I said, because the flavors are just so different. I think I think I like the second one just a little bit better. You like the second one just a little bit better? Just a little bit. Just though. a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Snitch. Are either of them too strong for you? No, no, they're. Yeah, uh, okay. I don't think. <laughs> I think uh, both are, you know, very smooth. Right uh, in their wheelhouse. Yeah, like I mean, you know, there's, you know, a hint of spice maybe right on the back end. Yeah. yeah. But it's not overwhelming. It's still a uh, good flavor in the mouth. It goes down good. You know, I could, I could drink a nice glass of this uh, very easily. So, I mean, it's interesting Either because one. they're both the same alcohol by volume, mm -hmm. but the red breast went into the barrel at a higher proof, right, and came down to this. This actually went into the barrel at a lower proof and came up to this, right? So they, they have varying degrees. Very interesting how... That's right. They went into the bottle and they came and out. And they came out about the same. So they have, they have varying degrees of water in them, mm -hmm. um, but, but we've reached the same alcohol by volume. Okay. So, Nikki's a fan of the blue bottle, of the blue pill. <laughs> Corey's a fan of the clear pill. Okay. Now, the blue one that was first, what do you think it is? I think the blue is the Catoctin Creek. I think the same. You yeah. think the blue is the Catoctin Creek? Yeah, I think the clear is the And red you breast. think the clear is the red breast? Ladies and gentlemen, the blue bottle is the Catoctin Creek, and the clear bottle is the Red Breast. Yes, the taste battle was successful. Neither of my contestants embarrassed embarrass themselves on the internet today. That is amazing. Um, I agree that both of these are really good. Pick them up if you can find them. Um, maybe you can do a taste battle with your friends at home one time uh, at a party or something, but... Uh, I want to thank you for watching today. I want to ask you to like. I want to ask you to subscribe. Click the bell when you subscribe so you're always alerted of new episodes. And please share with your friends just like you should share all your whiskey. Enjoy. Thank you for watching the Whiskey Butler, and we'll catch you on the next episode.